Hi everyone, this is Teresa and thanks for stopping by my stamp room. Uh, today we're going to be discussing clear mount stamps. Now if you saw the video before this one, uh, we discussed the wood mount and the wood mount also uses the red rubber uh, stamps. So today I want to uh, show you how to how they come and how to assemble them. Okay, so this is one of our clear mount stamps. Uh, out of the annual catalog and here is this year's catalog uh, this year uh, it expires June 3rd 2019 so just in a couple of months in the front of here it actually explains our different uh, different types of stamps and a little bit of description about them so here's our wood mount and then here is our clear mount and you can see here it's the red rubber but we also have an a clear acrylic block okay so i'll be discussing that a little bit more with you okay um so this is how it comes you have a sticker sheet okay and here is your red rubber pieces okay it's all together and it's already die cut for you. So you just have to kind of remove them like so. Okay. And let's just take out these two for right now. Okay. Set that aside. All right. So let's assemble this one. So here's your greeting. It has your red rubber, your foam, and then behind here it has your, adhes your adhesive, okay? Here is your sticker sheet. So this side is solid, and this side, your sticker is kind of die cut, and it also has a split somewhere in the middle of it, okay? So I'm going to show you two different ways uh, that you can put your image, uh, your images on your stamp okay so this first I'm just going to peel away that part I'm going to peel off this backing and actually I'm going to do the whole thing okay and I'm going to get this to where I can look over it and you're basically just going to line up the best you can and then press down and then peel off and voila so there is your image of your sticker on your uh, rubber stamp okay so that is one way all right I'll show you another way so take the backing off maybe okay and this time, I am going to take the whole sticker off of the sheet. Okay. Then I am going to take half of it off. And so this is your sticky side. I'm going to line it up. And this way, you can actually see what you're doing. And then you press it down and you don't want any air bubbles on in there and if you do get an air bubble you can very very gently peel that back and then hopefully reposition so now that I have half of it I can take off the second half and then just gently push that on there there you go Okay, so that's how you assemble them. Okay, and then because they don't have a permanent wood block, you will need acrylic blocks. Now here are some examples of our acrylic blocks. These are um, have Stampin' Up logo on it. You can see it also has a, um, like I said, beveled edge. So that's where you hold on to. They're very thick, very sturdy. And it also has the size on it. So in the catalog, it will tell you, you know, if this is block E, um, then it will tell you the corresponding size to it. 
And then here are two more, D and C. Okay, D is, is a very popular one that fits a lot of different stamps. So what you're gonna do is have your image and then you're gonna find the best fit for it. Okay, so that doesn't work. Okay, this would definitely work. And then I have a long one, which needs cleaned, definitely. And it could fit on that one too. Okay, so how you secure them. So this is kind of like a window cling. Okay, so you're just gonna put it on your clear mount and then you're just gonna hold and press for a few seconds. Okay, and then if you turn that over, you can see that it is now on there. Now with the bigger stamps, I haven't had a whole lot of trouble with them coming off, but as you can see, you can just gently uh, take those off with your, your finger. So if you are cleaning them with our chamois or our stamp and scrub, sometimes they tend to fall off. Um, so this particular kind of stamp is eventually being faded out to uh, a stamp called cling mount. Um, so if I will be posting another video, the next one coming about cling mount. So if you'd like to hear more about that, just stay tuned for the next video. Okay, we have our happy birthday. That definitely would fit there. Okay. And then another nice thing, a nice thing about uh, using a clear block is you can actually see the outline of the image. So I'm just gonna get a scrap piece of paper and we're gonna ink this up real quick. Let me grab, and we're gonna just use some Grapefruit Grove. So with the bigger stamps, I actually find it a little bit easier to take your pad to the stamp as opposed to doing this, but you can. Okay, and then now you can see exactly where you're stamping. Voila. All right, well, there you have it. Clear mount stamps, how to assemble them, and uh, the acrylic blocks that you would need to mount them. All right, everybody. Thank you for stopping by my stamp room today. Thanks. Bye-bye.